Thanks for stopping by, guys. This is just kind of one of my little rants. Um, I am going to talk slightly about mods. I've become... Yes, me, I have become... Where'd you go? A mod whore. Yeah, picked that up at ECC. I've tried several different mods, and I've come across a bunch that I've never heard of. I will be reviewing them, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. I do have one, though, by the way. Switch Mods. Very good company. Very nice guys out of California. I did get the, a chance to talk to them. And, you know what? For what they're doing, it's pretty awesome. A whole entire mod. RDA included. You can't beat it. I think this one's $110. Nice chuff cap. Good airflow. A nice... Dip, uh, Deep, deep, deep. Like, look. Deep well. Okay. Nice juice well. Alright. Good size post holes. Um, pretty even from the looks of it. Now, this one is a hybrid. This is aircraft grade aluminum. I ain't got that. Nice. I didn't even see that. Nice vent holes. Nice and smooth, thick. One thing that you always gotta look for. Nice, thick uh, threads on there. Look at them. <laughs> Goes right through. Nice air uh, battery vent holes. Excuse me. Oof. Harper. Anyway. Good hybrid. Hybrids myself. Oh, and a nice smooth button. I think that's a magnet. I'm not sure. Uh, that's a soft spring. I do think, though, that they do have the magnets. I have to double check. Don't hold me to that, but as of now, it's a nice, strong spring. Recess button. So it's nice and flush. I've noticed that. Um, hybrids. I'm going to give you a little vape education, vape education, whatever you want to call it, okay? I've already heard a few accidents of happening, and now the vape community is getting blamed for it. I have two hybrids. And this is before I hurt. Well, I had the one hybrid prior to me hearing about all these accidents. Okay. What's one thing that we all should know about vape safety when it comes to certain regulated mods, unregulated mods, it doesn't matter, tanks, RDAs. Okay. You do not push a tank above its limit in wattage, voltage, doesn't matter. Okay, certain tanks, yes, you can add a little extra oomph to them. The Archer tank, I think, can go up to 50 watts on any regulated device. Um, some unregulated mods can handle a tank. Not a hybrid. I repeat, do not ever, ever stick any tank. I don't give a flying rat's ass if they even say you put it on a hybrid. Do not risk it. If you want your battery to... Make your hand disappear, cut it up, do whatever. Do not, I repeat, do not put a tank on a hybrid, okay? Hybrids is direct battery to RDA power, okay? That's straight connect. The RDA, this piece right here, okay? That postal that normally would touch a uh, little copper floating pin that then push down and make the connection between the battery this is straight battery to RDA nothing in between okay one thing I like about this one though from switch mods solid it's the only thing that is not solid you have, you have to be able to put the battery somewhere okay so this whole tube right here 100% solid cannot take this top piece off where the RDA screws on to okay so, just put the nice, quick and easy tube, mod, uh, RDA, battery end, nice, easy threads, nice thick threads, and it fires away, alright, very light, very nice, I've yet to hit it, I did try um, the one of the CEOs, he had his 
aluminum, same exact one I have, was not heavy. Slight downfall for me. Um, I will do a full review on this exact switch mod, but they have three that I'm aware of, uh, brass, copper, and the aluminum. Very nice, very smooth, and I mean, my Manhattan. This is one thing I like, copper, heavy, okay? This is uh, as well a uh, hybrid. Difference is, is that one piece right up here that I was telling you on that one, it does come off. So it's a little bit of a, of a pain in the butt on that one, but I like them. Hybrids are nice. Straight battery, how well, okay? Awesome. I have, well, I have seven, no, eight mods. I have one, two, three regular, um, oh, I'll get them all. I'm going to make a hell of a lot, sorry. You already saw the Ju, uh, not the Juvie, the, uh, switch mod there. I'm just head up, okay? Got my Apollo, my Manhattan Apollo hybrid. It's like a champ. Unregulated Manhattan, not in hybrid. It's like a champ. Now I got my unregulated King mod, stainless steel, heavy. I like it, sturdy, the is Manhattans, they come with the magnetic buttons. This one has the lock say the, the little lock safety button. So you don't auto fire in your pocket. Now just if in case no one else had figured it out, had figured it out. Oi, can't talk. If you have Pam, a little spray stuff you cook with, take it apart, take your mod apart, spray your threads. Spray all your threads, including your locking mechanism, okay? Up here, spray. It helps it not seize. So if you ever have sat there and got pissed off your mod, beating it, and it wasn't coming off, once you finally get it loose, spray a little bit of Pam, get it nice and thready. It does not stick. Nice, smooth. It'll get a little sticky, but it will not seize. That's just the Pam. I think I used a butter one on this one. Don't use that. Use the canola oil spray, unless you don't mind the butter smell. But it's so smooth. Everything. So I'm gonna go back here. Once you know it, and you'll love it. You gotta figure it out completely, ins and outs. Hammer mod, H cigar, awesome, awesome device. Love this thing. It's heavy. I mean, how you feel like Thor you holding it? Just a mini Thor. Okay. Awesome device. Again, not a lot of people know. They're all on all regulated, or sorry, excuse me, almost almost all unregulated devices. You have an issue with the button coming out, and it just goes boop, falls out, right? Quick and easy fix. Open her up. Put your finger in. Make sure you hold the firing pin on the back or on the inside of the tube. Okay. Just turn it in a little bit. Okay. After that, with the hammer mods, you got these little lock pins thin so it is a little bit of a pain you have to get to so it has to go all the way up but once it's there it's there you're not gonna fire okay so there's that one got my unregulated box mod series box mod thing pushes out roughly 300 watts on 18 on two 18650 batteries 35 amps uh, <coughs> excuse me Preferably any box mods you get, you always want to have them married, okay? Because then at that point, they wear down together. You don't have any, uh, one just, you know, died, so then you have a misfire and under that bowl. You want married pairs. I use these, 35 amps, 7 point, oh, uh, sorry, Ooh, there you go. 35 amps, 3.7 volts, um... And the reason why I always do my calculations basically off the 3.7 because most batteries will not stay at that 4.2 very long, okay? Especially on a on an unregulated series box mod, they just don't. They do not last long. 
So, I mean, you can do it off the 4.2, which adding two of them is 8.4. Does change it a little bit on how safe you can build. Build safety, guys. Get an ohm meter. I went off memory for I don't know how long. Not a good idea. Building off of memory is not safe. Okay? Vapor safety, we need to have this. No more accidents. You need to have, and make sure that they are high drain batteries. Okay? Don't have high drain batteries, don't put it in a sub ohm device. You're just going to screw it up for yourself mainly. You're going to be walking away with a missing digit, something. That's how you're look like, hang on, something like that. Stay away from them. Get high drain for sub ohm, okay? They have, I also have this mod. Ooh, that's my box mod runs away. This is a Juvie from Convict Mods. Okay, they have several other mods, but this is the one I have. It was given to me from my one of my sponsors as I dropped the pieces. These batteries right here, okay, little tiny tiny suckers. They are easy to misconsume, uh, or not misconsume. Basically, you gotta make sure even these, because it does not say hydrate on there. This is not a high build. It's I think a one point. Uh, it's above, I don't know, it's like a 1.3, something like that. It's up there in the homage. So, it's safe to use. I, me personally, it's a sub-ohm device. I would still put a sub-ohm small battery in. If they make them. That I'm not sure of. First device I've ever had to deal with small little batteries. So, that's that. Regulated devices are a whole nother story. Most of unregulated devices have chips in them that will help determine, you know, everything. From the volts to the watts, everything. You know, a lot of them now, Sigalis, IPVs, uh, those are just the main two. God Mods, they all have a, a ohm reader in them. Do not rely on them. They're not always going to be specific. You need to be specific when you're doing sub-ohms. Everyone will sit there and say you're not a real man or not a real vapor, you know, if you're not at a .08 or none of that. Safe builds, guys. I cannot stress it enough. I'm not going to sit here, if I was a shop owner, and tell you, yo, get this tube mod unregulated and build a .08, anything lower than that, on a 35-amp battery or a 30-amp battery. You, you're not supposed to. That's not safe. If you want that thing venting, on a daily vape now competitions cloud comps it's another story if you build low you're not going to be chain vaping off it me as a chain vapor and i know there's a lot of other people out there that chain vape <coughs> you got to make sure you have a high enough build for your device and battery make sure it can handle that okay i can't stress it enough guys the lowest I can build on my batteries at 8.4, just using that one, or I think it was 8.4. Let me double check. I'll just show you. So if you have an Android or a smartphone, period, they have this little thing called Ohm Law Calculator. You can get it, okay? That's what it's going to look like. Very simple. Type in your volts, amps. You'll need two, okay? Two parts to the whole equation to get your right answer. So I'm just going to go ahead and do... 8.4, 8.4 volts at a 35 amp. Switch it over to ohms. That's the safest that you can build on an unregulated, unregulated device. Now, at the point that I'm at now, in these batteries, I can guarantee you, I'm at least at the, what is it? Um, seven, no, three, six. Oh, 14, 7, 7.4. 7 7.4 volts. I don't know why I had to do that. I already knew the answer. 0. 0.211. Okay. Un unregulated. Now, yeah, you're pushing out damn near 300 watts by that if you have it unregulated. On my Manhattan, or sorry, not my Manhattan, on my Sigeli. I do have a point uh one 
six, I think it was, on my Sigali. I don't have an issue with it. Why? Because it is regulated. Now, if I ever notice it getting hot anywhere, I'm taking the batteries out immediately. If you do have a little piece in your sled, one of these little tabbies right here, make sure you set it up right because if, in any case, you have an emergency, your batteries are screaming hot before, do not touch them. Grab a hold of that. Release them. Sorry about the loud noise. Just release them out there. Do not touch them. Let them cool down. Give them about half an hour. Let them cool down. When they're cool, you know, not warm at all, make sure your tapes, you know, see how there's all the tapes there. Make sure there's no dents in there. Always inspect your batteries. Once a week, okay? Once a week, I, I, I inspect mine every day. But once a week is not a bad thing to start doing. But make sure if you have one of those quick releases, emergency releases, however you want to call it, it's worth having, okay? So, on my short little rant uh, of, you know, some vapor safety, just please, guys, make sure you're safe. Guys and gals, my bad. Make sure you're safe. Build safe. Have fun. But don't blow yourself up in the process, please. I like seeing all my vapors out there. Um, especially if they're not smoking. Just vape safe. It's not that hard. I've, I went to one store. They said they do not sell unregulated. Or, or even these. They just sell Ego style pens. Variable voltage and wattage pens. Okay. We're not all tankers. It's not that hard to go on YouTube and look how to build a safe build. Get the own law calculator. Okay. It's going to save digits, hands, body parts. If you, We all want to keep vaping. Okay. It's one of our biggest issues right now. We have people out here doing stupid stuff, ruining it for other vapors. If you are a diehard vapor like me, you should be getting mad at this. You should be passing on safe building, you know, just safe vaping in general. Making sure your batteries are right. They're safe. You got the right build. You know, you got a good RDA. Make sure you're not cross-threading anything. Make sure you're not, when you build your coils, make sure you're, they're not touching, you know. You got one coil going in the other side. Make sure it's not touching so it doesn't short out. You get hot spots. Check them. That, that can short if it's... Nine times out of ten, though, if you're getting a hot spot on your coil, it's probably because your cotton just burnt out. But it doesn't matter. Check anyway. I just checked my Sigeli. Made sure because I started getting a hot spot. I already know because it's the same side. It's probably going to be a short in it. So i got to take it apart, rebuild, make sure it's good. It is going to be the 9 times out of 10 part though, your cotton. If you have, depending on what cotton you use, your cotton will just sit there and go melt, 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 and then separate. So you got a piece of cotton hanging out of one end, a piece of cotton hanging out of the other. You're going to get a hot spot right there, right in the smack dab in the middle. If you're getting the hot spot in the middle, I'm going to safely say it's your cotton. If you're getting a hot spot on either, you know, any close to the positive or the negative post, Take that thing apart, <laughs> rebuild it. You should not be getting hot spots near them. That means there's a short, I'm almost 100% guaranteed. I've only had one, and my battery got hot. I took the battery out. I double checked everything. Hot spot was gone. Put the battery back in. Oh, well, a new battery because that one was still cold down. And it was gone. Hot spot gone. Make sure screws on your post are always tight. If they're not, it will misfire. You want it perfect firing every time. Always double check. Doesn't hurt. Five seconds of your day, check them. Another thing, when you do build, make sure the heat, when you're preheating the coil before you put the cotton in, heat should always start smack dab in the middle of your coil and work its way out. And then do exactly the opposite when it's cooling down. So as soon as you let go of that button, the hot the coil start cooling down like this and then disappear okay so 
this is just my quick rant on safety. Definitely, definitely, definitely make sure you're building safe. Do not put hybrids on, uh, sorry, tanks on hybrids. No, no. I don't suggest putting tanks on a parallel, or sorry, on a series box mod. I will do a little bit more research and digging into to make sure you put them on a parallel, um, unregulated device. Or I've seen tanks on unregulated devices, sub ohm tanks, mind you. Um, on a, I've seen a Kanger full tank, Kanger tank, sub ohm tank on a Manhattan. Works fine. Have seen any issues? Heard of any issues on that? Just please, 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 please. If you have a hybrid or if you have a series box mod, do not put a tank on it just to be on the safe side. Okay? You're not going to get much difference anyway. And you're, you're burning your coils out at the most. And then you're going to have to go spend the money on new coils. So just stick to the regulated and the unregulated tube mods that are not high bridge. I mean, preferably if you had a little bit extra money, go out and pick up a regulated device and stick to what the pamphlet tells you. It's just to be on the safe side. I know no one wants to come home, go into a vape shop, get something they really want, and then bye-bye. I wouldn't want it. My wife wouldn't want it. My friends wouldn't want it. So I guarantee you guys don't want it. Please, please, please. I cannot stress it enough. Be safe. Vape safe. And be friendly. We're a family. We're running out of uh, things here. You know, people are just being kind of stupid and blaming the vape community. And we're the ones suffering from it. So pass on vapes, vape safety, build safety, battery, everything. Just please vape safe. And everybody have a blast and vape on, all right?